Hey friends, welcome to Project Homestead. Today I am so excited about my video because I've been wanting to make this recipe. I mean, it's a recipe, it's not your typical recipe, but I've been wanting to make this for a very long time and try it out because I wanna figure out how to make my own pantry staples. And this is definitely going to be one of them. If I can figure it out and if I end up really liking it, <laughs> gardeners he didn't realize I was behind him and he was just going along his way doing his leaf blowing anyways so the recipes that I want to do don't worry I'm not out on the main road yet I'm going to show you really quickly the recipes that we are going to be doing are homemade ranch dressing and homemade taco seasoning I'll show you when we get home. But I was going through the different ingredients. I thought I had everything I needed, but I don't have everything that I need. So we're gonna run to the shops really quick and just get a couple of spices that I don't have. So what we're gonna do to test out this ranch dressing, obviously I'll just try it on a carrot or a chip or something straight away. So we can just give like initial thoughts of the ranch dressing once it's made up. The taco seasoning, we're not gonna be able to really give that any sort of a taste test until we actually cooked it into some hamburger meat so I thought to myself why not make soft tacos since I've already got a really good recipe for a tortilla which I'm not going to share the recipe for the tortillas that's in another video I will link that video down below if you want to go find that recipe and I'll also actually if you don't want to go watch that video of mine then I'll just link down below the the tortilla uh, recipe online where you can find it online okay so currently we are at the spud shed and I'm going to be getting everything for the taco seasoning and also for homemade ranch dressing for the ranch dressing I need to get some parsley I do not have any I also I did find chives I didn't think I had chives but I did have chives I have dill, I have onion powder, garlic powder, dried onion flakes, I have black pepper, and I have salt. And I also now, thanks to my mother, have the buttermilk powder that I need to have. So for the ranch dressing, I only need to get some parsley, dried parsley. For the taco seasoning, I need to get more chili powder. I do have chili powder, just not enough. I have smoked paprika, I have cumin, I have coriander, I have garlic powder, I have onion powder, I have cinnamon. I don't have Mexican oregano. I'm going to look up what the difference between normal oregano is and Mexican oregano because I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to find that specifically here. So I'm going to look that. I'm going to look into that. And then I also have salt. So I need to get chili powder and oregano, ideally Mexican oregano, here for the taco seasoning and if I'm gonna find that Mexican oregano it's gonna be at the budget anywhere here it's gonna be at the budget so let's go in and try to find it Alright guys, we're home from the store. I found I found the chili powder. I found the parsley. And I got the marjoram. I thought it was margarine. But maybe I'm getting that mixed with something else. It's called marjoram. Because Google said that this was the closest to Mexican oregano. These recipes could not be easier. I literally need to put all the seasonings into a bowl mix them up and stick them in an airtight container so these are very user-friendly recipes you'll see in a minute that i realized i only put in one fourth cup of parsley and i needed to add three fourths cup of parsley so in a minute i will add the rest of the parsley but the rest of the ingredients i got the right measurement the first time
I couldn't find anywhere on Becky's recipe in the directions where it said how much water to use. And so I got out this taco seasoning out of my cupboard to read how much water they recommend because the amount of spice that she recommends is the same that the one for my pantry recommends. So I went ahead and used my pantry taco seasoning for a reference. I end up later putting in some more water than what they even recommended to get that really nice simmer and so it was kind of pointless but that's the reason you saw me pulling out that taco seasoning from the pantry. I always make my ranch dressing with sour cream. I just mix it with sour cream. That's how I do my ranch dressing. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it. I think you're supposed to mix it with milk, but I'm gonna use Becky's ranch dressing to and make it the way that I would normally make it for my family because that's how I like to do it. So I'm not gonna follow the instructions of that. I'm just going to mix the three tablespoons of her ranch powder in with this Bula sour cream, and then we'll give it a go. I'm gonna mix our taco meat up. I added a bit more water than what it said to do because it was like so dry. There was not, there's no way I was going to be able to get a simmer on the amount that I uh, had. So I'm happy with the amount of water I added. I probably added another half a cup. So a whole cup altogether. Right, while that is simmering away, I'm going to stick this sour cream. It's pretty much a whole entire packet of sour cream in there. I've also got a little bit left over from another one. I've also got a tiny bit left in this one, so let's just go ahead and add that in as well. Might as well. Then we will get our ranch dressing that we made. Three tablespoons. One, two, three. We'll mix that through. I'm going to add a tiny bit of milk. Oh, that was more than I wanted to add. Oh well. Now let's mix this through. Okay, let's put this aside. I want to give this a taste test right now. It definitely resembles ranch dressing. I'm gonna use a different, a clean spoon because I got a lot of the powder on there and that kind of was a little overkill. I think it definitely resembles ranch dressing. For me personally, it's slightly more salty than I like, but the flavor is amazing. The flavor very much resembles ranch dressing. Cool. All right, I really want to try this um, taco meat. <clears throat> That's got a kick to it. If you don't like something super spicy, go lower on the chili powder. I don't mind something super spicy. I love it. My daughter might think this is a bit crassy on the spice, but the flavor is amazing. What a good taco seasoning. I'm not gonna lie. I was a little bit like weirded out when it said cinnamon. I was like, what? But that is so interesting. That works. Mmm. Yum. I've got a clean spoon. I know I ate out of this, but I'm gonna get a little bit of this meat. Put it there. Get another clean spoon. Stick a little bit of this ranch dressing on top of there. Mmm, yum. Together, that is so good. I think my husband is gonna love this.
this on after. I know you want you want that, but I just want you to try the combo in like general. I just want you to try it in general first. Okay. It's not bad. Like on a scale from one to ten, ten being the best one you've ever eaten in your life, and one being like you'd never eat it again because it was so bad. Mm. Let me take another bite. Yeah, you want an honest review. It's pretty spicy. You think it's good spice for you? Almost. Like, it's nice, but... Try it with this and see how you like it. Or is that going to make it too spicy? No. I'd probably say i give it like a six or seven. I do feel a bit better after having eaten. Good. I'm going to go give my review now. Okay, so we've got... The ranch dressing there, we've got the meat in there, we've got some cheese, we've got some tomato. All right, moment of truth. I think I made my tortillas a little bit too thick. Mm. Mm-hmm. <coughs> the only thing, oh, it's got a kick. It's got a kick. I agree that I don't think my kids are going to be able to eat this. It does have knock your head off spicy. For someone, for anyone that doesn't like spice, Like the heat and spice, I would drastically lower the chili powder. Drastically lower it. The only other thing for me is that I never make things very salty. Some, a lot of times people put salt on their dinner because they, you know, I didn't make it salty enough for them. So it's a little too salty for what I like, but the flavor is there. The flavor is there. So. Would I make it again? Hands down, I'd make it again. But next time I would lower the heat and I would lower the salt a little bit. For me, it's a solid eight. Yeah. For me, it's a solid eight, eight and a half. It's very good. I like it. Come here. Yeah. Hey, Mish, this is very spicy, like, really. Are you ready? Yeah. How's the spice and flavor? I'll say low the spice, but I'll give it mm, eight or nine, definitely. Is it is it a little bit too hot? Uh, no, not really, actually. So are you good? Could you eat another bite? So you could. Yeah. Do you like it this spicy, or do you want it a little less spicy? A little less spicy. It just hurt me a little. Just cut you a little off guard? Yeah. <laughs> but I wasn't like, oh my gosh. Run for water. I need water. Else I'm gonna die. You're drinking water now, though. But you didn't have to run for it. No, it kind of just makes it worse. I was just thirsty. Yeah, water always makes it worse. You gotta drink milk, honesty, on everything. Like spiciness, everything, flavor. I don't think I got a bite of the meat. I'm gonna try the bottom. Mmm. The meat is a little bit spicy. Yep. It was good. Would you eat it again? Mm hmm. You'd eat everything on there again. It's even got ranch dressing on there. 
Just a mm. little bit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Homemade though. I thought I wanted you to try it. So what would you rate it? One out of ten. Seven. I'm spilling this everywhere. I'm not happy about that. All right, guys, there you have it. We've tried Becky from Acre Homestead's ranch dressing and her taco seasoning. They're both very good. For me personally, I'll probably would use a tablespoon and a half, but use the same amount of sour cream so that it's a little less salty. I feel like the flavor is powerful and it is there so I could get away with using half I also think that when I use this I will also use half so it's not so like blow your head off spicy all in all success I am so happy it was a success another win for Becky at Acre Homestead don't forget to check the video out down below I'll link her video where she's making both of these so that you guys can go ahead and see that video if you want to make them yourself or check out Becky's website which is the scratch pantry to get these recipes and a lot of other really good recipes okay guys that's it for the video thank you so much for joining me thank you so much for being here and spending your time with me I know it's valuable if you want to see more videos like this please consider subscribing I would greatly appreciate it my first goal is to get a thousand subscribers right now I'm almost at 200 so I would greatly appreciate if you would consider subscribing until next time friends bye bye